Yeah, you so you joined the game. game. And hey, there you are. Oh, there you are. You're looking flying. Right, give me one second. With no face. And <laughs> no, like. Oh, really? So, yeah, you like you're like just a floating set of armor with no face and no that's no kind of mid uh, Yeah, you're just kind of an empty set of armor. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm digging the metal textures here, so. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And they're all different. Like, I, I like the different animals. Yeah, I do too. For the little avatar I do things. too. So, I mean, overall, I mean, I like the aesthetic. I like the world. The music is chill. The combat was pretty yeah. satisfying. So, I, I don't know. I think we go this way. I think, yeah, we got to go through this, uh, through this uh, portal here. So, there's three different characters we can play as. Oh. You can do the wand the blade that, or ah, the blade. these are characters okay yeah. i get it all right because like before when i was in the tutorial it had like a bow and arrow it just had the blade no i had a bow and arrow and i had oh, the big okay. spear thing and a sword and a shield i had the sword and shield okay that's what i had and then i had the bow and arrow also so i think it I think it may have randomized what we get. I think it does, yeah. Because earlier I had the bow and arrow. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Because, I mean, this is definitely different than what I had when I died the first time. So, yeah. right, I'm going to grab the fang blade here. I'm going to try the glaive. The glaive. All right. And I think we go this no, way. We do. Yeah, really I was going to say, this is the only way I think you can go. To the Bifrost. Welkin okay. wheel. Welkin wheel. Dude, these are definitely like bringing back some mushroom stuff from the 80s. So, it's like that time. This is still cool, though. time I went to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, I'm not hating on it. Um, man, I'll tell you what, that tutorial got a little brutal towards the end. That one guy at the very end, like, kicked my ass. All right. Man, I got no shield, and they're shooting stuff. Yeah, I know. This is rough. Now, you know I'm going to harp on it. I'm gonna do it right here in the beginning. My sword passes through stuff and that pisses me off. So, please developers, please, 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 please make your worlds and your weapons solid. It really is immersion breaking. And I should be able to block with, okay, I could this time. Like in the tutorial, it wasn't really blocking well with the sword itself. Like it seemed like their weapons were passing right through me. And I killed that guy. Let's see if I can help you with one. I don't know if we can both hit one at the same time or not. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, oh, we yeah, can. Oh, yeah, we can. We can duel. Nice. We can duel up. All right. That's cool. Okay, I don't hate this. Whoa. I should be able to bat those away with my sword. You you can actually bat them away. I just did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, you definitely got to time your strikes. Yes. And also, if you, if you block them... You get those little target things. Yeah, notice that. Like I said, combat's not totally unsatisfying in this. No, I like this a lot. Now, I will say, since like real, real quick, I'll animate it here before we hit up another set. So like when I had sure. the shield, I could literally just hold the shield up and then just go like this <laughs> with the sword yeah. and kill everything. I kind of so. like these weapons better. No, yeah, I was going to say, this is adding a little bit more challenge to it. build up my focus so I can get an iron strike here. Aha! I have you now. Cool. Oh, what? I stabbed him for zero? Nice. Nice. Onward. And let's head for this Oh, one. wait. Hold on. Oh, we got the thing. Okay, so I got tactics or fortitude. And I got tactics, improve your focus, okay, or might. Coup de gras, follow up, or looming death. I'm going with... Oh. Instantly kill an enemy that is below 20% of their max health. I'm going to go with coup de gras. Gras. So the developer's really into mushrooms. Bounce around. So. Mm -hmm. At least in, in this level, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. And you know, I gotta say the the distance, the scale is looking pretty good too. Like like as far yeah, as like, I agree. like being able to see really far into the distance like that, which yeah. always amps up the immersion a little bit. But man, I would love to see this get a Quest Three graphics upgrade. 
Graphics are nice and shiny, but this elazing is killing me. Uh oh, man, we got multiple incoming. All right, I'm gonna take these two. Oh, I missed and he hit me. You don't hit me. Ha <laughs> ha! Nine, 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 nine! All right, you got him. I'm gonna get throwy <laughs> over here. Whoa, he got me. Did he get you, like, dead? No. Not even close to dead. Oh, yeah, okay, because I was gonna say, I'm, like, at half my life bar. Get those, these, uh, I need a shield. Nine, 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 nine again. Nice. Oh, yeah, cool. You stay here and let him shoot you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good find, Eric. Yeah, I like this yeah, one a lot. I'm having some so this is by, fun in this one. Uh oh, this is by E. McNeil. Okay. Oh, E. Made, McNeil. Uh, oh man, I yeah. have not. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. I think we haven't heard his name for a while. Yeah. Because he made this. Yeah. Now I've been working hard on it. Well, E, you rock, dude. This this is great. I am not hating on this. And thank you for making it multi. Nice. Yeah, the multiplayer is where it's at. This is really okay, cool. Okay, wait, I got more buffs here. Okay, I got might Me too. or fortitude. I'm gonna go might this time. Me too. Armor piercing first impression deals 75 bonus damage on your first I went with that strike. one. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I like making a good first impression with my sword. And with my glaive as well. Yes. Every time you say that, though, I think you've got the the crawl weapon. <laughs> ah, that's true. It was the, called the, the, like, it was called the glaive, thing. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved crawl. Child of the 80s. All right, bring it. You taking that guy? Take this guy. Okay. And I gotta say that the the blocking with the sword is actually satisfying. It makes you kind of feel like a badass. Yeah, yeah. So I think his other game was called Iron Light. Iron Light, yes. Man. And it was a 1v1 game. I have not played that in forever. But now this has kind of the same blocking mechanics, yeah, you know? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's all coming back now. Same parry. Ha! <laughs> I have you now. Bring it. Wish you could bat their little balls back at them. <laughs> you can. You said little balls. What? So far, I have not been able to. Maybe it's your weapon can and mine can. I don't know. Oh, maybe. All right, let me see. All right. Oh, Throw something at me. <laughs> Throw something at me. Oh, it doesn't bat back. Batter up. Okay, but you can block them. Okay, so yes. Yeah. You just gotta time it really well. Oh man. Got this powerful guy now. He's on fire! What? You shoot that crap at me? You know, I gotta say, I like kind of like the fact that you don't have to really hard swing the sword. So like when right. your arms start getting tired, I mean, obviously it's gonna help you get into it if you really, really do. But when your arms start getting tired, you can kind of just, you know, wave it a little bit. Oh, I have the high ground. Nice. Yeah, you got that guy. Oh yeah, well, now I lost the high ground. All right, come on, bring it. Okay, so some things. I got you got the dash. I want to jump. Oh give me, yeah, give that's me a, a good idea. Give me jumps. I'm a jumpy, twitchy kind of guy. I like to jump right. around in these games. Might or fortitude? I don't know. I've gone might the last fortitude. couple of times. I'm gonna go fortitude this time. Toughness. Yes. Increase my max hit points by 500 points. That's what. I, I wish I could do that. Oh, you didn't get that one. No, but that's okay. That's all right. You'll get it next time, champ. <laughs> that's right. 
<laughs> this is fun, Dude, man. Dude, I'm digging this, man. Good find. Definitely want to play Demio as well. You know, um, I know we've been we've been kind of toying around with playing that one together for a while. And I think we got to go this way now toward this oh, big crystal. Dude, I dig the big crystal. Like I said, I'm kind of digging the scale in this thing. Oh man, big swords! It's like the freaking Kur the Kurgan. So, what do you think about that? Did you hear that they're remaking Highlander? Yeah. Henry Cavill. Really? Yeah, he's gonna. He's, I didn't hear you know, that. He's confirmed. He's the Highlander. So now I've got like way more faith in it. But now I want to know who they're gonna get to play the Kurgan. I I think Dave Bautista would be awesome. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think Dave Bautista would make a hell of a good Kurgan. Or just DH Clancy Brown, <laughs> bring him back again. Yeah. I mean, after seeing him in Gen V recently. Oh, I died. Crap. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking about Highlander. Uh, uh -oh. oh, nice. I just came straight back now to the battle. Coming after me. Wait, I've got one. I respawned with one. But I have no... Oh, wait, I'm a ghost. Can I ghost punch you? Ghost punch you. Nope. I can't ghost punch him. You're on your own, man. Oh, dude. Behind you, behind you, behind you. I can't. Oh, you're about to die too. Oh, yep. I died. No, now we're both dead. We have been defeated. That's okay. That was fun. Okay, but I kind of dig Haven. Wow. So let's chill out here and talk about this for a minute. So, yeah. okay. Man, good find. Um, I, <laughs> I got to tell you. Uh, I, I know I said it earlier. I, I'm digging the aesthetic. I, I'm digging the music. I'm digging the combat. Um, you know, obviously, if we go and talk to the Aeons, you know, there's a little story kind of going on. Oh, wait, we got a new, exactly. like, like, this guy's like flashing now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, he's new. Okay, yeah, we can speak to him. And the fact he's that Nim. And the fact that they have voices. So, you're not what I expected. Yeah. Uh, you're not what I expected either. I didn't expect to have a childlike voice coming out of the big snake. <laughs> Me either. I'm Nim. Welcome to Novalantis. Oh, Novalantis. Oh, yes. I see you've oh, already collected some echoes and essence. Yeah, I did. And yeah. geodes. Oh, cool. Geodes are, are awesome. Me? Um, sure. Okay. Uh, so a lot of talky talk parts right here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna step away. Probably from that. gonna skip that because we are recording. Um, but you know, normally, obviously, I would really heavily get into that because I do love narrative and uh, story. Yeah, exactly. You know, so. Okay, so, you know, I gotta say, I am super happy with this, Eric. Thank you so much for, for telling me about this and, and coming to play tonight. So, Iron Strike, man, if you guys liked what you see and you want to grab this, I am going to leave a link for this in the description. As always, go support E. McNeil. This is an amazing game, and uh, thank you. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for joining no, me. As always, dude, I love joining you. we got to do this more often. So, all right, guys, for Don... For Eric, that's it. We're out. I'll see you in the next one.